What's up, my LS crazy leaders? It's your boy Terry speaking from the garage shop once again. Here to offer you some more big bang for the buck products and LSA installing tips. Yeah, right now we're going to concentrate to the back because we almost got the front of the car all taken care of. Now we're going to concentrate on the back because what I got to do is I got to change the fuel pump on this car because with an LSA, once the car goes in the boost, it kind of demands a little bit more fuel. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to a bigger fuel pump that pumps more volume. And um, come along, check this out. Now what I did was I made like an auxiliary you know, door here so I can get to, instead of dropping the tank, because if you drop the tank, it's a pain, especially if you got fuel in it. So what I did, I just made like a little hole and I cover it up and uh, I got carpet in here so it looks nice, nice. And uh, I bolt it down. So if ever I have to you know, service the tank, which I had to a couple times, I just open this up and then there it is. All right, so this is the baffle that I'm talking about. This is it right here. You, you drill a four inch hole, it's great. You drill a four inch hole, and then you just drill these little screws right here, drill the little holes where the screws go, put it in. Now you got a fuel injector tank. So now what I gotta do is I gotta pop these screws up, out, and then I gotta go and uh, pull the, the baffle out, pull the pump out, because the pump is inside here, pull the pump out, and then replace it with a bigger pump, a pump that flows more fuel volume, more volume of fuel. All right, check it out. Now, if you guys been watching my videos for a while, you know that I've been using, since I got the car up and running years ago, I've been using the original stock Chevelle tank from my 71 Chevelle, and I modified it with the tank's ink baffle inside the tank. So what I did was I drilled a big four, I think it was a four inch hole in the tank, and I dropped the baffle in, and now I got a fuel injector tank, and I've been using that, and it's been working, and I'm gonna continue to use that. So, let me show you what the setup looks like. Okay, see now if you're thinking about using Tanks Inc., it's a great product. I, I love these uh, these baffles. Never had any type of starvation issues. Now what it comes with is it comes with this. The setup comes with this. Now remember, this has been in here for like four years. And what happens is you got to drill a hole, four inch hole, your circular saw, four inch wide. I believe four inch wide. And uh, you just got all you got to do is start drilling. They have like a little template that's in the back. I don't know if you can see that. There's a piece of metal that goes that you got to spot weld you know right in the back and that's pretty much it now one of the things you want to avoid with an lsa or either an ls engine is fuel starvation you always want to have enough fuel to feed the engine inside this tank right now i'm using the tanks ink p4 it's rated to i believe 600 horsepower which is well and good and there's nothing wrong with it it's been working from since i got this car up and running but being i'm the type of guy where i like to have more and not need it and then than to need it and not have it and cause damage to the engine. I'm stepping up to the P6 right here. This fuel pump, which is rated to a thousand horsepower. I don't see this car ever pushing a thousand horsepower, but even still, this is like bringing a gun to a knife. You know what? I'm not going to use that as an example of a gun to a knife fight. You know what I'm saying? We need more love in this world. We don't need more examples of guns and knives. No, we got enough of that. So this is like bringing, giving seven quarts to a six quart front sump what's called front pickup uh, oil pan, for example. Trailblazer SS and the GTOs, you know, the 2004, 2006 GTOs, they're front pickup oil pans. And so, you know, they're six quarts. You put six quarts in there, but then when upon acceleration, that oil goes to the back, where personally I think the back, the pickup should be in the back, but it's in the front. So what I usually do on my Trailblazer SS, I usually put six and a half, I think it's seven quarts, because even though you push that oil back, it, you know, it's always going to be submerged in oil. So, yeah, we're going to use that example. This is like putting seven quarts of oil into a Trailblazer SS. That's better. All right. <laughs> oh, I love you guys. I love everyone. Man, I tell you. So, we're going to use this because, like I said, you don't want to starve your fuel, especially upon boost. You want to make sure you got enough fuel there. So, 
you won't starve the engine. And, and the cool thing about the LS engines, you can provide all the, the PSI, all the fuel you need, but it's not going to use any more than, it's gonna, than it needs. So that's the beauty of these now, engines. I mean, if you, this is what the baffle looks like. It's just like this. You drill that hole in your tank, you drop it in, bolt it down, instant fuel injected gas tank. Now, what I'm going to do is, this is the pump right here. I'm going to replace it with this, with that one, for more volume. Um, now, if you're one of those people that don't want to do this, Tanks Inc., or they, they offer a tank that's already set up. All you got to do is throw it in, and you'd be good to go. Put some power to it, good to go. If you don't want to go and drill holes, if you're a little nervous that you think the tank might blow up or something like that, you know, your tank might blow up, Tanks Inc., call up Georgia, Georgia, sweet lady, sweet people over at Tanks Inc., and they'll set you up with a tank for your car. But for this, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change this fuel pump and I'm gonna leave this because what's gonna happen is the tank, my tank is getting a little old. So I'm gonna just order a straight up a brand new tank for my car. And uh, what I'll do is being that my 67 Chevelle already has a brand new tank in it, I'm gonna modify that tank and put this pump in there and I'll be good to go. Everything will be okay. <laughs> all right, so let's take a closer look at this bathroom, all right? Now, this is the old fuel pump, and what it is is I'm going to remove it, and here it goes. All right, now, you see this little hose right here? I'm going to replace this hose because not this dry rod it, but even still, it's a good idea whenever you replace your pump, replace the hose. Now, what's happened is it's very simple. You got your return. You see this tube right here? This is for your return. So when it comes back out the engine, or the fuel is not being burned, it goes back to your tank, it goes through, your, through here, out, back into the tank. All right, now you got this little barb right here. I don't know if you can see it. Let's see. You see that right there? That little barb right there? That is going to be where the tube hooks into, and then the pump hooks into that, and it, that is your feed. And that's pretty much it. It's pretty simple. Now with these, these baffles, they're great because you have to custom fit them. So my, the, my tank is bent like that, whatever, such and such, whatever way it is, but you have flexibility. You have a little set screw, you can get this thing closer to the tank, so there's flexibility with these things, and that's why a lot of them, tanks ink, they always come through. So I'm gonna put this back together and let you see what I'm half talking about, because I got the new pump, and it even comes with a new filter, so time to do some work. And I got my iced tea. Get all the dirt. Clean it out. All right. This is my wall broke pump. This is from Tanks Inc. It came with the with the baffle. 255 liters per hour. Rated at 600 plus power. And I'm changing in favor of another wall broke. This is 400 liters per hour, and this is good for a thousand plus power. So, this is my Trailblazer SS with the recommended six quarts of oil. And this is my Trailblazer SS with seven quarts of oil, an extra quart of oil just for insurance. Insurance. And just reverse it. Just put it back. I'm going to put this together right now. Got the baffle back together. <laughs> As you can see, that's the new fuel pump. Let's go up close. That's the new fuel pump. The return, all wired, zip tied. It's in. Now it is time to submerge the pump. Lowering the baffle. Lord name of Atlantis is the prince of the deep. Now, right now, it's just.
just the opposite of what we did. So take it. So that is how I'm going to be feeding, make sure I have enough fuel to feed my LSA, my 6.0, to the car. At this time, I want to say, I'm going to take the opportunity to say thank you. Thank all you guys. Mm. I really love you guys for all the questions, the, the, the concerns, the love, and just the, just, just the thirst for knowledge as far as this installing this engine and, and just restoring this car. You know, I, really, I really appreciate it. And if you have any questions, you know, I'm not a hard driver to you. I, so I'm going to the car company now. So I can see them. It's time for me to head back on off. And like I said, I want to try to get this car on the road ASAP because I'm Joey. All right? So until the next time, Ethan, until the next time, please always be easy. And I'll catch you guys.